With our three older boys back at school, Everett and I headed off to Costco. We pretty much walked every aisle and brought you along with us and showed you our Alaska prices. If you missed that video, make sure to go back and watch it and then come back and watch this haul. This was one of our biggest shopping trips to date. How much do you think we spent? Tell us down in the comments before we show you the grand total. All right guys, we just made it home from Costco. Hunter had a good first day of middle school, thank goodness. That is a little nerve wracking, sending him off to middle school on his own. <sighs> he did awesome. The younger two are just about to get home, so I'm gonna quickly show you what we ended up buying today. All right, I opened these up, you guys. Um, they're amazing. They are like so soft, so tasty, made in the USA. If you like gummy candy, can't say enough good things about these gummy bears. And all natural fruits and vegetables to color them. Yeah, like so good. Even just the smell, it smells like real fruit. So anyways, I ended up getting these crisp pink apples and the nectarines, which cross our fingers, will get soft and be yummy. Velveeta bars for the kids to take for snacks and their lunches. I don't know if I have ever, ever bought the kids Eggos, but they were on sale. Everett said, I want them. And I thought, you know, that would be a really good, easy breakfast. I usually make a really good, um, like smoothie in the morning with lots of spinach and stuff. And all the kids have some, but that would be a good, like addition to that. Um, tater tots for a quick, easy side dish at dinner. Jimmy Dean sausage, the big old log, because I'm gonna make some breakfast burritos for the boys and for Mark. This is our favorite salsa. These, Everett got into them. I think he may have eaten like five on the drive home, but who's counting? He convinced me he needed these. Grandma used to buy them for him and he just has, thinks he loves them. So hopefully he will continue to eat them on crackers or toast or something. go grits were on sale, so I grabbed two of those. I'm gonna try out this ranch. I've never bought it before, but Weston wants ranch for taking to school to dip his carrots in. So we're gonna grab that. These were on sale and Everett had been talking about getting them. We bought them once this summer for our mom's store and we they have lasted the entire summer. So it's good. We have a new, we can restock. These I've heard are really good and Alaska does not have Chick-fil-A, and I heard if you put those in the air fryer, they're super good. And then I found this at Fred Meyer the other day, which is kind of fun. So I figured that would be a quick, easy lunch for Everett. Hunter can also take things and microwave them at school. So Maybe I'll get, be getting more things like that where he can take them and microwave them for a few seconds and um, have a hot lunch. Lettuce, always restock on that. Chocolate chips, cheese for sandwiches, organic chunky guacamole. I love these because they freeze so well and they can just pull them out and put them in water before dinner. And that way it won't go bad because if I buy avocados, they're so expensive they either go bad or they're all ripe at the same time. So this is my solution. Shredded cheddar jack cheese, Monterey and mild cheddar for tacos and for breakfast burritos, sour cream. I got three things of bananas. I grabbed a huge bag of carrots. Now in Alaska, we in the fall, we have these things called Pam's carrots. It's a lady, a farm out about 30 minutes away from us that grows Pam's carrots and they have a moose on them and fingers crossed I can find them this year. Oh, I didn't find any last year. I'm going to go searching for them this year because they are the best carrots ever. So I'm starting to keep my eye out. Fred Meyer used to get them. They didn't get them anymore. I think I have to check smaller grocery stores around um, like three bears. So all right, two loaves of bread. After I did that um, fridge clean out and freezer clean out, we used up all the bread that was in there, so I did get some new bread. More butter, celery, English muffins to eat with eggs at breakfast. These big tortillas are for breakfast burritos. The small ones are for tacos. We usually pull one out and freeze another one. This better than bouillon chicken, I noticed we were out. We use that when we make soups. 
potatoes. Hopefully this is the last bag of potatoes we'll be buying before we get our potatoes out of the garden. Got some peppers, some more avocado oil spray. The pans that we have say not to use anything, um, you can't use Pam. And anything that has like an, um, that has an actual aerosol to it, you're not supposed to use it. But this is just avocado oil. It doesn't have any aerosol. So I like how it says, you're cooking compadre. It's avocados from Mexico. All right, some tomatoes for salads and sandwiches. And then some yummy uncured black forest ham and some milk. And then over here is the section of almost all impulse buys. So let's see what we have. I got this scale because it was only 12 bucks and we needed one. Tissues, these wall hangers, which I need to hang some stuff up so I'm excited to try them. Hi guys, welcome home. I know, it took forever. How was your day? I know, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, did that frustrate you? No, he had to pee. Oh, I'm so and sorry. They didn't let him go inside. All right, sorry. The kids just got home from school. They kind of had a little stressful thing with the buses. So, got that taken care of. Let me show you the last of this table. All right, I got these to hang some stuff on the wall. I love anything that 3M has, and they were on sale. So, I'm going to try those. I am almost out of my eyebrow stuff, and this was a lot cheaper than what I had bought. These are eyebrow pencils and then like a styling gel so i grabbed that to try because it was only 12 bucks for the three of them seemed like a really good deal stocked up on melatonin we have a couple kids that occasionally have a hard time falling asleep and this melatonin in the gummy is so good it works better than the chewables next up we have this day quill night quill when i had a cold a couple weeks ago i didn't have anything like this so i thought we needed to restock I've been using this for a while. They've changed the scent. It is now rosemary and lemon. Before it was like peppermint. I like it. Um, it says that it's clean. It doesn't have parabens and things like that, which I hope is true. I'm always a little bit hesitant when they say, you know, cleaner. I just never know because you look on the back and it still has like so many ingredients, but I don't know. That's what I use and I'm almost out, so I grabbed it. And the water bottles, and this was the cool thing about the water bottles, is they come with a straw lid, and they come with just a lid that will open and be open for you to drink out of. I wanted something with a straw, so I was so excited to find those. They are 24 ounces. They have a little rubber thing on the bottom so they're not loud when they hit. Oh, that's just Miss Luna back there. So they're not loud when the kids put them on their t desks and I think they're skinny enough that they will fit in their backpacks. So we got four of those. I'm not sure where the fourth one went, but I always call it a win when they have four different colors because then I each kid could have their own. Um, I grabbed this Tundra book for Bennett. Maybe that will help him. Do you want to read this? Look at that for a few minutes while I finish. You can do it up here on the couch. Not that couch since... Somehow, while I was going to the bathroom, Everett tore it apart. Okay, last but not least, I grabbed these long sleeve brush tunics. They feel so soft. It kind of has a sports person on it, so I don't know if it's supposed to be. But they are super soft inside, so that's why I grabbed them. I grabbed it in gray and black. Be good for throwing on over my workout clothes when winter sets in and i grabbed these two sets of shorts for hunter he said he's allowed to use his uh his gym clothes so i'll be probably taking those back but now for the grand total let me see all right you guys it was a big shopping trip today and i was right when hunter when i the minute i walked at the door hunter said lunch was terrible I'm making myself a lunch for tomorrow, and um, yeah. So, and now Bennett says it was terrible. And applesauce, beef jerky, this disgusting white cheddar cheese, um, applesauce, and some cheese. 
Okay, so they all three have said it's gross. So good thing I restocked. And the, the restock total was $537.65. Big shopping trip. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta take care of these boys. They're hungry and kind of tired from a first day of school. So we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. I forgot to tell you guys about this. So it is four fruit preserves from France, strawberry, cherry, red currant, and raspberry. And the thing that's really cool about it is it's like jam you'd make at home. It has like five ingredients and doesn't have a lot of extra stuff added in. There's also a rumor circulating around that the owner of this back when, during World War II helped protect Jews. So that's kind of the story that I'd heard circulating. I don't know if it's true or not, but I tasted it. It's super good and it'll be a fun change up from just the raspberry jam that we have all year.